Hi everyone, I'm Vic. Today I'm going to show you how to use your Elgato Wavelink with the Xbox Game Bar. To use the Elgato Wavelink, you need a Wave 3, Wave Neo, Wave XLR, or Stream Deck Plus to unlock it. You're going to start by downloading and installing the Wavelink and Stream Deck software. A reboot will be required for the Wavelink with the Elgato downloads. Now once installed, you're going to set up your audio channel inputs. I recommend using Wavelink Game, Wavelink Voice Chat, and Wavelink SFX. After setting these up, you'll need to route your apps in the appropriate audio channels. Now, in the Wavelink, you're going to click on the settings to open the volume mixer, which is the Windows volume mixer. And you're going to set your default to Wavelink system and your input device to Wavelink microphone effects, which is your Elgato Wave device. All right, so next you're going to route your game. And I'll pull one up real quick on Steam. Now that we have the game open, we're going to make sure that it's also routed to Wavelink Game. Now, if you're using an aux cable, meaning you're using a cord connected to the back of your Wave XLR for headphone input or you're connected to the back of your Wave microphone, then you're going to put in low latency mode. That way you can hear it um, with very minimal delay or almost none. It's, it's a really great feature. Anyway, um, it's going to be better performance. Now for the Wavelink sound effects or SFX, which is this, you're going to route to microphone effects. This is useful for using soundboards or using voice mod for voice changing. And I do have a video on voice mod, so check that out if you plan on using voice mod. Now let's configure the Xbox Game Bar's audio. We're gonna press the Windows plus G key together on your keyboard to open the Game Bar. In the audio widget, you're going to set your Windows default output to Wavelink System. Under the Voice tab, you're going to set the Windows default to the input to Wavelink Microphone Effects. Your default communications to Wavelink Voice Chat and your default communications input to Wavelink Microphone Effects. Now with that, the Xbox Game Bar will be configured, but there is one more thing that we need to do before we can go to Stream Deck. So let me go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. Sorry y'all, I had to pause the script. All right, so Windows default, you're gonna put it to system. Your Windows default input under voice, you're gonna put to your microphone effects. Your default communications output, you're gonna put to your voice chat and your default communication input you're going to put to your Wavelink FFX. All right, so the next thing is we're going to start a party, right? It doesn't really matter who I start the party with, but do you see this menu right here? You see where it says potty, party audio? You're actually going to put your audio output to Wavelink voice chat and then your audio input to your Wavelink microphone effects. The reason why is because when you're doing it in your party, you can actually route your sound effects directly through your Xbox Game Bar. Now the next thing we're going to talk about is actually setting up the Dream Deck. So let's get started on that. Alright, let me go ahead and uh, start my script back up and hopefully it picks back up. Now in Stream Deck, on the Marketplace icon, you're going to install the Wavelink plugin. this one right here and if you're using voice mod you'll be installing the voice mod one as well oh, I clicked on the wrong one there we go all right now we're gonna create a custom soundboard and for this one, everything, the rest is going to be completely unscripted, right? So I'm just going to literally walk you through everything here. All right. Hold on, y'all. <laughs> I had a lot written in my script, but most of this comes down to like, just drag and dropping. 
So I'm gonna use the Elgato feature right here. Now I'll stop. You're gonna stop all audio whatsoever in case, for example, you're running like lo-fi or elevator music and you're like, oh, I need to turn this off. You're gonna hit this button right here. Now play audio. Play audio is going to be under your output. You're always gonna route it to your Wavelink SFX. And the reason why is because the SFX channel will route over to your microphone effects. So in other words, you can use your soundboard custom that you create on your stream deck and then route it over through your Xbox game bar when you're in a party chat and everybody will hear that. Now, you can choose your file. And in this case, I have them set up here, the soundboard. We're gonna use our Peter Griffin laugh. And since I like to actually have like an icon to match it, choose this one so I'm gonna show you as I, I push this in Wavelink right here you see how everything is routed I'm gonna push the button <laughs> and it's gonna come through so you're gonna see that bar move in the SFX it'll do the same thing in Xbox so go ahead and pull up a party a party chat real quick Add someone. It says it's connecting, we'll see. But I'm gonna push the button again. <laughs> Shows I'm online. And usually they'll hear it when you push that button, it'll come through. <laughs> And that's pretty much setting up a soundboard to route through your Xbox game bar on PC. Now I hope this video was useful and helpful for you. And if you liked what the content was, don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching.